hello and welcome to Connecting Hawaii Business on Think Tech Hawaii. My name is Kathleen Lee, owner of Kathleen Lee Consulting, and I am your host for this program. Sorry about that. Think Tech Hawaii is live streamed on thinktechhawaii.com as well as on Think Tech Hawaii's <laughs> Facebook and YouTube pages. And viewers like you have the opportunity to ask us questions by sending them to questions at thinktechhawaii.com. So now that we've gotten that intro out of the way, I am very pleased to have my friend Jeff Ha, Creative Director of A Red Content Solutions on the show today to talk about how he built his company um, during the pandemic. So welcome Jeff to the show. Thank you, great to be here. Yes, it's great to have you on. So tell us about yourself and your background. Sure, yeah. Um, so by trade, I'm a photographer. Uh, have been I study photography, and that's been my career path since um, I graduated in 2006. So it's uh, it's very much a part of me, like a, a, an arm or a hand is. Um, I I mean, maybe I've shot a variety of different things. Um, shot some adventure travel and um, winter sports and things like that was kind of my main concentration for a lot of years. And I was traveling all over uh, Europe, Canada, um, the Southern hemisphere. Yeah, it was a fun, fun decade or so, it's um, the sum of it, right? And, and uh, one thing I've always kind of shot on the side is um, architecture and, and um, some real estate and things like that. So that's always kind of been a, a, a side project and I've shot a variety of different things. Um, but uh, in a nutshell, yeah, that's kind of my, my background. I was born on the mainland, um, ended up here in Hawaii in 2014 and um, have been getting to know the community and the, and the islands ever since. And I, I, I do want to uh, let the viewers know that Jeff and I met because he was a journalist for one of Hawaii's um, popular publications. So you're also a writer. Not only do you do photography, but you're also a writer. Yeah, that's true. Um, so yeah, I was working at uh, Hawaii Business Magazine for three years. Um, I took the editor position there and my writing came as a uh, I guess a bit of a sidecar to photography initially, at least, because I would end up on a, a project or end up somewhere where they hadn't planned to do a story, a magazine had not planned to do a story. And I would come back with these photos and then tell them the story as I was sharing the photos and they would want to print that story to go with the photos. And so I started getting coached to write by editors of various different magazines that I was shooting for uh, when these sorts of instances would come up and, um, it, I just started gaining traction as a, a person who could both write and take good photos. And that led to a lot of assignments, opened a lot of doors because there's a, 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 a you know, the, the, the right combo package, if you will. So fast forward to um, days when I was freelancing for Hawaii Business Magazine and an opportunity came up and they asked me if I would be interested in them. Through that, I, I, I just learned an incredible amount of information, uh, met some amazing people, Kathleen being one, and just, you know, really got to know the community that much better because Hawaii Business is such a trusted uh, partner of the community, the business community and whatnot. So, um, so yeah, it was, it was, it was great uh, working for them. And that, like you said, that's where we met. And you also do videography. So we talked about you um, being a photographer by training and trade and mm -hmm. being you're gaining experience through Hawaii Business Magazine as an editor and writer and videography. So go into that a bit before we delve into a red content solutions. Sure. Yeah. Um, I mean, the, 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 in a way, the two really go hand in hand and more so all the time uh, with the advances in cameras and digital technology. Stepping back, I studied film as well as photography what was more focused on photography, but I see that the, 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 the two are so similar. So I had a great interest in both. Fast forward to when, you know, digital cameras started taking great video as well. And therefore I didn't need a whole nother set of expensive equipment. So I started doing a lot more video work, um, you know, fairly basic video stuff. No, at the time, you know, initially wasn't doing large productions or anything, just um, but basic experimenting, um, 
learning how to combo the two, experimenting with projects that would be stills and video all wrapped up into one presentation, uh, things like that. And um, the video skills just kind of grew from there. Uh, with my photography work, I'd done a lot of, or I'd been a part of a lot of different uh, film shoots and whatnot as a still photographer. So I had a lot of friends that, um, you know, had the technical knowledge. And so I would pick their brain and ask questions and borrow tools. And it just has is, is been an organic growth into, uh, you know, creating and producing videos as well. Um, and just take, so taking up small projects and things like that, that I, I knew I was capable of managing. Um, and then also looking for ways to kind of combo the two for clients uh, to give uh, you know full impact of, digital media you may in my mind you may as well be using all the all the avenues that, or sorry all the mediums that you can because it's so easy to present them all on the web or, or you know mobile platform whatever uh, the end product is going to be well let's let's delve into that speaking of end product you, we have a, a video for um, a red content solutions so if we can bring that up before jeff goes into what exactly he does. Was a beautifully composed video with the greatest images, Jeff. So tell us about A Red Solutions and hey, what does A Red stand for? Um, sure. Yeah. Well, thank you. Um, so A Red is an acronym, and it stands for Architecture, Real Estate, and Design. Um, I chose that name because it just was very fitting and honestly very straightforward as to what you know, this company focuses on, and that is. Uh, you know, creating multimedia, photography, video, and writing in, you know, in the, when the need presents itself um, for architects, real estate professionals, be that residential and commercial, and um, design being interior design, and also just, uh, you know, a lot of builders are designers as well, right? People that remodel kitchens or bathrooms or whole homes, whatever that may be, that incorporates design as well. So, um, essentially, in a nutshell, it's the real estate and building industries and all the the media needs that come from that. And that tends to be really focused mostly on the their end product, right? Their flagship home or uh, the wonderful, you know, d design and build that went into a, a bank lobby or something like that. Um, and so we look at creative ways to really make those elements that are most important in that design uh, stand out. Um, and then on the real estate side, it's really uh, looking at creative ways to make the property listing stand out, right? So someone is interested and they want to see the property after they view our video and photos, you know, it makes it look good, um, captivates people's attention. Also, I, we try to make something that fits the, the brand of whoever our client may be and hopefully elevates their brand at the same time. So let's let's bring up the first three photos. Um, and while we're doing that, Jeff, tell us about why you focused on the particular sectors that A Red stands for. Mm, yeah, I think I mean to really sum it up. I'm just I'm, I'm, I enjoy photographing spaces. Um, I'm intrigued by the you know the man-made structures that we surround ourselves with every day 
Um, I feel like there's a lot of design that is just beautiful and it moves me. I find myself lost in spaces, find myself gravitating uh, back towards spaces that I know that I like, you know? Um, and so it, it's kind of a natural extension of a uh, fascination and study of, of well-designed and built structures. Um, and so that's, you know, that, that that's kind of the, what drives the creative side of it. And then there's, there's you know, those are healthy uh, industry and market here. Uh, the building industry is strong, real estate market is strong. So there's, there's a need for this media as well. Um, and so it's it to me it's a somewhat of a no brainer to combo my interest with a you know people's needs for this this type of work. That's wonderful. Um, so this was well, let me dial it back. It, you started mm -hmm. this company um, last year, mm -hmm. and it was during mm -hmm. the, was it technically was it, it was the very start of twenty twenty one. The the, okay. the the seed for it was planted last year, but yeah. Okay, tell us about that process. What was it about last year? And, and I always think that, let me take that back, not always, but I believe that the pandemic uh, provided an opportunity for people to be more introspective and reflective of what they wanted to do. Mm -hmm. That being said, there, you know, I, I know a lot of people that have started businesses um, and, I, and I wanted to delve into your own process. So how did that come about And that now we have a red hat? How did the pandemic um, influence you wanting to go on your own and start a business? Mm, that's a good question. Um, I think it, it not, not so much was it a deciding factor, but it definitely was a big motivator and shaper in how I went about it. Um, I had in plans, started these plans uh, in 2019 and was looking at a launch date in 2020. Um, it was going to be a couple months after the pandemic hit, short of the long. Um, and it, 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 it definitely uh, diverted my, my timing, um, delayed my timing because of a number of, for obvious reasons, I don't think I need to explain those too much. Launching a company at the start of it, I think would have been, especially a company doing what I'm doing would have been a, a recipe for disaster. Um, so, but it did give me time to really refocus and really think about what my offerings were going to be. Um, and also really a lot of, you know, they, those changed a bit. What I thought I was going to be doing when I initially launched it was, um, a slightly different focus and then through the midst of the pandemic paying attention to everything that was going on trying to keep up with how the economy was doing uh, what markets were you know surviving or, or just tanking uh, it definitely reshaped the focus and I think it it gave me some time to really hammer out um, what would be a viable business model in this because it's a I mean media production and whatnot is it's a fairly saturated uh, market as far as people offering my services so it really uh, gave me some time to um, dig down into a, a niche that I could dig you know get into that uh, there, there was there was room for my services if you will um, and then it, it just turned everything over I mean a lot of people that I had plans to be working with at the start of the pandemic uh, you know We've still got those relationships, but we aren't working together because of the, all the different changes and stuff that happened and you know things that dried up. And uh, so just everything got tumbled. And so now it's kind of trying to figure out, um, find a new groove a little bit, if you will. Um, that's been challenging for sure. At times it's uh, been a, like a, just a bit distressed about it, but you just, you got to make the most of it. The cards that are well out of my hands. Yeah. That is so true and very optimistic. And speaking of challenges, we will delve into that when we return after the break. So stay tuned.
Hello, and welcome back to Connecting Hawaii Business on Think Tech Hawaii. My name is Kathleen Lee, and our guest for today is Jeff Ha, who is the Creative Director for A-Red Content Solutions. So when we left off, we were, Jeff had mentioned challenges. So let's go into that. What were some challenges that you can talk about that you ran into in, in starting your business? Yeah, um, you know, I was talking about just the disruption and the challenges, but there's been some, uh, I mean, in the midst of the pandemic um, and in the height of it, if you will, uh, you know, photo shoots and whatnot were only happening if they're essential, right? Um, so, you know, it's a lot of people put on hold uh, documenting projects and, you know, getting the photos that they need for quite a while. So there was a bit of a slow start out of the gate because I founded the company in, in January of this year. Um, so there was definitely a few months where people just weren't bringing, you know, we weren't getting together, we weren't gathering in person, we weren't even we were trying to avoid being in the same room if it, you know, if we did need to. Um, so short and long, what I'm getting at is that people weren't booking photo shoots. So it was, it was a slow start. Um, and so, you know, the, I guess the challenge in that is just maintaining the, the confidence and the faith that uh, this will work. And, you know, as once vaccination started happening, a lot of people started feeling safe. So that started to pick up. Um, I found that you finding uh, uh, financing was a little challenging. And I don't know if that was necessarily the result of the pandemic, but I had a feeling that because of the shape of the economy, um, you know, a small business starting up finance, people in the position to finance it, maybe a little, little, just scrutinizing things a little bit more as far as the business model and whatnot. Um, so there's some small challenges there. These were all <clears throat> able to work out. But in there, was, there were silver linings, right? I mean, not having uh, many bookings, I get out of the gate, gave me a lot of time to get the business organized, to get marketing plans and all of that. So, um, so all that, you know, whenever there's challenge, I think there's also opportunity in that. And that's, um, yeah, that's kind of my mindset. So I, I don't think I've had the major challenges that a lot of other folks have had in the midst of this. Um, thankfully, I, I feel lucky there. Yeah, let's go with the next set of photos. Um, and Jeff, you can keep going about um, how you founded a red content solution. So what are some lessons that you have learned so far that you'd like to share with people? Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> all this with the grain of salt that I'm, you know, a young company. Um, and so still learning lessons very much. Um, but I think that a really strong business plan. <clears throat> um, one on paper is good because you can share it with people and convince them that you you have thought this through. But to put it down on paper, well, you got to have a really strong plan in your head. And uh, that has been a very important part of the puzzle for me. Um, just taking the time to really think that out and work through a long kind of strategic plan that looks a few years down the road has been um, yeah, that's definitely been a lesson that, you know, I started it, I was like, this is cumbersome, this is going to be such a process, but working through it helped me you know, really kind of put some things in stone um, as far as what I wanted to do with the company. So, um, and that, I mean, let's go with that. I let's, guess, go with, like, yeah. let's go with um, what you want to do with the company. What would be your ideal client, whether it's a, it's a business, an organization, or an individual? What would that look like for you? It's business. It's business to business is kind of my marketing services. Uh, sorry, my the content that I use is for business, whether that's a realtor, a real company, um, architect, you know, to market their services is essentially what this is. So, uh, and I think it's it's either, it's going to be um you know a listing agent or something on a house or a commercial property developer or. Uh, manager who wants to show a building uh, online or, you know, uses these materials to kind of market what they've got. It's also going to be um, potentially a, you know, person in charge of marketing at a large real estate firm or a small, sorry, architecture firm or a small architect who's got a project that he just completed that thinks it's his, you know, greatest work thus far. And he wants to take the time to really photograph it well. 
Um, same thing with an interior design uh, side. So it's basically professionals that are working in these, uh, you know, in these industries that um, know they have something that they need to share and share it creatively uh, through digital media. And for our viewers out there, not only is Jeff the creative director for A Red Content Solutions, but he also has another company, Workat Media. Let's let's delve into that since we're nearing the end of the show. Jeff, tell us about Workat Media. Yeah. Oh, so Workat Media is the sister company of A Red, and it's a more of a catch-all. It's not as highly focused as A Red is as far as its you know content um, that it. So it, it, we do a bit more storytelling. Um, we take a kind of broader scope of clients and different people that we work with. Uh, there's some editorial that WorkHat does. Uh, there is a lot of short video and whatnot that maybe, um, you know, interviews and things of that nature. So it's kind of just a catch-all um, for other things that I, have you know in my wheelhouse or in my tool kit um you know as far as types of media that i can create um it's yeah it's just the you know, the little the broader scope of it it's a little more creative side of things you know it's not as focused on uh a de delivering a very specific product it, you know i, I use work hat as a vehicle to um, delve into a little bit more creative projects and then um, you know, from working with another, often I'll do work with other, uh, you know, production uh, teams and whatnot who may be working on a large production and work had as the service um, that I put that under. Um, and so work hat's also a bit more of a collaborative thing where I've got a number of different people um, that provide services and whatnot that align well with work hat, but stuff that I don't do. And, and so I'm using work hat as kind of a you know, collaborative, um, who are you, if you will, to bring work in and then I can bring in, you know, my friends and colleagues who are, have different strengths to, to tackle larger projects, if you will. That's wonderful. Um, do we, have we shown all the photos that we have? And if not, we can go ahead and, and show that now. Uh, but Jeff, is there anything else that you would like to add that I, I didn't ask you about that you would like to share with the viewers out there, whether it's starting a small business using your, you know, the knowledge and the experience that you already know or, or, or anything? Yeah, I think, um, <laughs> oh, the big one, that's going to be the <laughs> part wisdom on the cloud. That question, oh. man, anything else you'd like to add? It's like, yes, yes, I want to add a bunch of things, but go for it. I, th I think when it comes down to it, I, you know, I'd, I'd say if anyone watching this or that does watch it is, is in a need for custom media, um, I encourage you to just give me a call and have a conversation because that's where I like to start things is learning about uh, who my clients are and what their needs are and finding something that's really what they need instead of prescribing it before I understand, you know, what their, uh, what their motivations are and if not. So um, feel free to give me a call. Love to hear from you. Um, beyond that, I just, uh, coming from my own experience, I think um, following your, I want to say your dream sounds a little cliche, but just knowing what's inside of you and what drives you and following that is super important. Um, that's always been the one driver in my career is that this is, this, you know, photography is what I do. And I use that as my guiding compass. And um, it's brought a lot of rewarding experiences because of following that. And so I'd love to say, if you've got that gumption in you, then uh, chase after it. I love that. I love how you've ended it on that. Um, we already showed your website, but if people do want to get a hold of you, uh, what is the website again? And do they email you, call you? How would someone get a hold of you? Yeah, um, email is great. Website is uh, ared content. That's a r e d content dot com. Uh, you can contact me through there. You can shoot me an email, hello, H-E-L-O, O at aredcontent.com. Um, and yeah, I think uh, the number's on my website too. So I would say go on there, check out my work, and then give me a call. That's awesome. I had that on some of my first business cards too. It just said, hello. 
<laughs> so I love that you have that as well. Um, but again, Jeff Ha, thank you for joining us on Connecting to Business. And he is the creative director of Arid Content Solutions. We have a website. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in today. Um, thanks to Jay Fidel and the staff at Think Tech Hawaii for making this program possible. We had Michael helping us out today. So thank you, Michael. And until next time, thank you for tuning in. Aloha.